clarinet intonation. So we are going to learn a way to tune your instrument that's a little bit different than you may do in your band or orchestra. I was reading a recent uh, edition of the Clarinet, which is the Journal of the International Clarinet Association, and in it Michael Webster uh, mentioned that the G's on the clarinet were stable notes. So I thought, why don't we use the G's to tune our instrument? So first of all, we need to get our instrument warm to make sure that the, um, the air inside the instrument as it's going through and the sound traveling through that air is warm. It will help the, the pitch to uh, raise a bit, and if we don't do that before we tune, then as we go through our rehearsal or our performance, then the pitch will get sharper and sharper. Sound travels through warm air quicker, and in and, and that way becomes sharper, about 1% for every 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Dr. Andrick at Ohio Wesleyan told me all about this. She is a physics professor there. So let's get our instrument warm. I'm going to finger a low E and blow air, just blow air through the instrument as if I'm warming my hands. So I'll do that for a few minutes and then I may play some long notes, long tones in the very lowest part of the instrument. So once I've done that, then I'm going to just um, check those E's, those G's. So on since this is a transposing instrument, the G's will all be concert F. This particular website has an electronic um, sounding keyboard, and um, remember that we'll need to do concert F. So on the keyboard, concert F. I like to tune with a tone, if possible another clarinet player, because it's easier to tune like timbres. But if that's not available, then using something uh, like a, a sound generating. And then you can always check and make sure that you are close with your electronic tuner. But it's always good to use your ears when you're tuning, because our ears are really a lot more sensitive than our eyes or these electronic tuners. So I'm going to choose that F above middle C, which will be, will be the open G. And I'm going to play it after I've listened about a mezzo forte. It's a little sharp, so I'm going to pull out just a little bit right here at the, at the barrel. You can always check it again. The next one I'll be playing is the low G, so this would be the F below middle C. Listening. And I'm checking. Now that's become a little flat, so I, what I'm going to do is come back a little bit in with that. Make sure that my instrument's warm. And I'll check that F again, that concert F again the G, the low G. It started out sharp because I was playing softly, and clarinets go sharp when they are played softly, unless you adjust your embouchure. All right, I'm going to now check the upper G, and this would be the F second F above middle C. Okay, that's a little sharp, so I'm going to just crack it a little bit right here in the middle. And as I play, I will check again. Um, that's all we're going to do for this video. Um, and I just want to remind you that there are other videos in the next one. We'll be talking about tendency notes. And these are notes that tend to be sharp or flat, even when you've tuned your instrument. And what you need to do to get those in tune or to play them maybe a little flat or a little sharp, depending on the chord, uh, while you're playing, when you don't have a chance to pull out or push in. And I'll leave it at that and see you at the next video. This is Dr. Nancy Gamso from Ohio Wesleyan University. Thank you for joining us.